Hi, welcome to Ms. Richardson's five minute lectures. This information is US Notes 5.11, background to the Vietnam War. It includes information that goes along with the second section on your study guide. Remember, you have control over the lecture, so pause when you need, write down any questions you have, and rewatch if you need to. And make sure you're using your study guide like I told you to help you take the notes. Let's go ahead and get started. In order to really understand why the U.S. became involved in the Vietnam War, you have to know some of the history of Vietnam. And that's where we're going to start today. So Vietnam was this small Asian country that constantly feared capture. So they were surrounded by some very large countries. China was a big threat to them. But in the 1800s, France took over Vietnam as a colony. So there's France taking it over. So then they were controlled by France. That lasted from the 1800s up until World War II when France was captured by Germany and lost control of all of their colonies. So Vietnam, for a very brief moment, was free and independent. And then Japan came in and captured them as they were going over the Pacific Rim and taking over everywhere. Um, they came in and took over Vietnam as well. So then Vietnam part of Japan. Japan is defeated in World War II and decisions had to be made about what should happen to Vietnam as well as other parts of the world after World War II. Vietnam wanted to be independent and govern themselves, but at the Yalta Conference at the end of World War II, it was decided to give Vietnam back to French control. So following that, many Vietnamese decided to fight for their independence. So they wanted independence and they didn't want French control. So this should sound very similar to, say, Korea and what happened there. So the Vietnam, the army that was fighting for independence became known as the Viet Cong, often referred to as VC for short. You even see that in the things they carried book. One general rose to the top, Ho Chi Minh. He was a communist nationalist, so wanted the country to be one, but wanted it under communism, and led the fight against France for Vietnamese independence. In 1954, at the Battle of Dien Bien Phu, he and his army defeated France. So following this battle, the Geneva Conference, or Geneva Accords, were held in Switzerland in 1954. At this meeting, it was decided that Vietnam would actually be split into two parts, north and south. See, sounding familiar, right? The division and the new border would actually be along the 17th parallel. So don't get your two parallels confused. This one is 17. Ho Chi Minh was given control of the north, so it was independent Vietnamese communist country. And Ngo Dinh Diem, a non-communist, was given control of the south. And he was backed by the US. So it didn't really satisfy either side. The US wanted containment to happen, and they had lost North Vietnam. And the Vietnamese wanted unity, and they had lost South Vietnam. But that means it sets the stage for more involvement in Asia for the, Asia for the US. So we see that other things are going to happen here. We see it. this is not the end. And, but it is the end of Notes 511. So hopefully you learned something, and I will see you in class with any questions.